Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com with the answer to a question asked on my Udemy Adobe Audition course, which you can join by clicking the link in the description to this video. Alex B has asked, what happens if I have different audio tracks that don't match? For instance, the volume is off, the EQ is off, the tone sounds completely different. I know the feeling. Especially if you're working with many different voiceover artists, it would be a miracle if all of their EQ and compression settings were the same. Let's drag a few sessions in here. Now you'll notice immediately that not only will they sound different, but they also look different in the multi-track. For instance, let's have a listen to the first few. Live in the mix. In the mix. In the mix. In the mix. So you'll notice that some are extremely compressed, have lots of treble, some have a lot of bass on, some are not so compressed. So what do we do to get them all sounding the same? Now I'm putting together currently a new DJ Drops package for our Music Radio Creative website. I don't want to have so many different voices to work with in all kinds of different recording environments. I want them all to be uniform. Well, this is going to save you a lot of time. Go to the window menu and look for match volume. See, I've already ticked it. It's already showing up here. And it says drag and drop your supported media files in. So that is exactly what I'll do. I'll grab them and I will drop them in there. There they all are, all my different voice artists ready to process. Now, it doesn't stop there because you need to go into match volume settings and you've got a whole load of options here in Adobe Audition. I tend to go for the first one here. Uh, the loudness uh, is LUFS and you can have it as low as minus 23, but because I'm working with audio production and I really want to limit my voices to all sound exactly the same, I'm going to bring it to 0 dB, which will make them extremely loud, but great for working with in the multi-track. I will take use limiting and I'll reduce the look ahead time to 5 milliseconds and the release time I'll make it very tight to 40 milliseconds this is going to be really tight and it will get all the voices sounding exactly the same in volume not necessarily in EQ but in volume again export I'm going to tick it and I'm going to export to my desktop and I'm going to put it into a folder called new there Okay, so once that's done, click OK, export settings done, run, and it's as quick as that, and you'll notice they all disappear from my multi-track. So I need to re-import them, and I've got them over here in a nice finder window, which I can just drag into the multi-track. And there you go, suddenly all of those voiceovers are looking a lot more uniform, perfect to work with, and you'll listen here. In the mix. In the Mix in the mix. Now they're at much better levels. I still need to work on the EQ, but I can do that easily in the multi-track when I'm producing the audio. So I hope this has helped you use the match volume window to get all of your voiceovers sounding exactly the same. I hope this tip has helped you and remember to subscribe to my channel for more tips.